Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is May 11th, 2023. I'm in Colorado right now, and I'm not on my my home computer, and the system is a little different. So I'm going to uh, do the best I can to be able to share some information with you guys. I, I want to share this information that I'm investigating, and I've seen something uh, very, very interesting. And I want to talk to you about the lunar occultation of Jupiter that's going to be happening on May 17th. May 17th, if you look at the Hebrew calendar, the Torah calendar, really is lining up with Ascension Day. Even though we are watching all the way through Pentecost, the fact that this is happening on Ascension Day I think is very, very interesting. And there's a lot of information about this. There's a lot of details about this that I want to cover. The first thing I want everybody to see, okay, the lunar occultation of Jupiter is happening on May 17th. And if we go down here, I can, I'll can i leave the link for you. This one site here has given us um, a lot of information. This one site is giving us a lot of information. And what really caught my attention here is that the last time a lunar occultation happened and it was visible in the United States was all the way back in December of 2004. Okay. December of 2004. That's a long time. I mean, if you're looking at a 19-year cycle, this is pretty amazing. Uh, Israel has a 19-year cycle uh, based on their lunar calendar. 19 years, I think, is very interesting. And so this hasn't happened since uh, 2004 in the United States. But if we look at this, I made this list. I went, I went down this list, okay, from May 17th, it's happened, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. It's been 28 lunar occultations of Jupiter since 2004, but this is the, the first one since 2004 in the United States. That really caught my attention. The next thing that caught my attention is that there won't be another one anywhere until September 8th of 2026. Okay, so we're talking, what, three and a half years? I did the day count on this. It's 1,210 days. Then if we go to September 8th of 2026, there's going to be another one over the United States in October of 2026. So let me um, let me update this. October. What was the date on that? October sixth. Two thousand twenty six over the United States. 
and this was going to be in the constellation of Cancer and I'm sure that the one in September I'm sure that the one in October is also going to be in um, in Cancer. No, that's in Leo. Okay, this is in Leo. This is in Cancer. And then there's another one over uh, worldwide. There's one on November 2nd, 2026, but that won't be in the United States. There won't be another one over the United States until 2034. So for those of you who want to watch this, this has not happened in the United States since 2004. It's been 19 years. Okay, It's going to be a very amazing uh, a, a very amazing sight in the early morning hours of, of May 17th, about 4 or 5 in the morning. And it's, it's going to go completely behind the moon and it's going to disappear for about an hour. It's going to take about an hour to go across as the moon is coming across uh, the visibility of Jupiter. And Jupiter is going to be eclipsed is going to be occulted behind uh, the moon on May 17th. I want to go back to the hybrid eclipse of April 19th and 20th. Okay, let's go back to the Okay, the hybrid eclipse of April uh, 20th. We're watching Pentecost because this hybrid eclipse was in the constellation of Cetus the Whale. And this is exactly 40 days from Pentecost on May 28th. But if you look at this location, okay, first of all, let's look at the location. In Cetus the Whale, the Sun, the Moon, and Jupiter. Now, if we go forward to the lunar occultation of Jupiter, it's going to stay there right in that same exact location of where the eclipse was. Now, this is coming up perfect because I am in a location, my location here, okay, is where I am right now in Colorado, okay, where I am in Colorado is going to be 100% of the, uh, the lunar occultation of Jupiter. So this is coming up perfectly here on my Stellarium uh, settings. And so we're going to see the lunar occultation of Jupiter as it's coming across uh, Jupiter on May 17th. But we have in the same location of the of the total eclipse, of the hybrid eclipse that was on, uh, on April 20th, it's the same location. So we had the sun was eclipsed, and now we have June, Jupiter eclipsed in the same location in the whale. Okay, this is very, very significant information. And Jupiter being the man-child and is going to be hidden on Ascension Day. Okay, I think you can see the very important situation here. Very important what is being shown here in the heavens. The sun was eclipsed, the sun was hidden, and now Jupiter is being hidden. Okay, very important signs 
that we are receiving. Now, if you go to the meaning of Cetus, Cetus is a constellation sometimes called the whale in English. The Cetus was a sea monster in Greek mythology which, which both Perseus and Hercules, Heracles needed to slay. Cetus is in the region of the sky that contains other water-related constellations such as Aquarius, Pisces, Eridanus, and Cetus. Okay? Now, if you want to understand how long ago the last lunar occultation of Jupiter was in the United States, December 7th of 2004, Barack Obama became a senator in January of 2005. So just as Obama was coming onto the scene in the United States, even before he was a presidential candidate, just as he was becoming a senator, this was the last time a lunar occultation of Jupiter happened in the United States. So from 2004 to 2023, it's been 19 years since the last lunar occultation of Jupiter in the United States. 19 is the number of slaughter. You have the whole understanding of COVID-19. And then this is all connected to the moon because you have both of these are lunar occultations of Jupiter. And so you have within the, the astrological cycle that happens every 19 years, the metonic cycle is a period of almost exactly 19 years after which the lunar phases recur at the same, same time of the year. Okay? So from, from 2004... To 2023, there's a 19 year difference, and there's a 19 year cycle within uh, within the moon. So that's another very interesting connection to all of this. Now, if you go from May 17th, 2023, and you go to December 7th of 2004. There's a difference of 6,735 days. 6,735 days. If we go to the Strong's Concordance, 6735, this means ambassador or messenger. And the first usage, 1 Samuel 4.19, and gave birth, for her pains came. 6735, the last lunar occultation of Jupiter, 6735 days, for her pains came, and she gave birth. So here's this information on the lunar occultation of Jupiter. This is the link. This gives us all this information to all of these other uh, occultations that happened. I went one by one and I wrote them all down. In 2023, it happens fairly often. In 19 years, there's been about 30 times this has happened. Some years it doesn't happen at all. In 2023 it's going to happen twice. In 2020 it happened twice. In 2019 once. 
Then it didn't happen until 2016 twice, 2013 twice, 2012, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. It happened in 2012. Lunar occultation of Jupiter, but none of those were in the United States. Once in 2009, once in 2008. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times in 2005. And the last time it happened in the United States was December 7th of 2004. So let's read this together. I'll just, I want you to have this information for those of you who want to see this. Lunar Occultation of Jupiter, Wednesday, May 17th, 2023, at 6.40 a.m. Mountain, Mountain Standard Time. The moon will pass in front of Jupiter, creating a lunar occultation visible from countries and territories including Canada, the contiguous United States, Greenland, and Mexico, amongst others. The occultation will be visible from Colorado Springs. It will begin with the disappearance of Jupiter behind the moon at 531 mountain, mountain time, though in twilight and at a low altitude of only 10.2 degrees in the eastern sky. Its reappearance will be visible at 626 mountain time a.m., though in daylight. Extreme caution is necessary when pointing binoculars or telescopes at the sky when the sun is above the horizon, as even a momentary glance at the sun through such an instrument can cause permanent blindness. A complete list of the countries and territories where the occultation will be visible is as follows. Canada, the contiguous United States, Greenland, Mexico, Russia, Sweden, Norway, Finland, Svalbard, Iceland, Cuba, Nicaragua, Great Britain, Honduras, Latvia, Guatemala, Estonia, Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, Haiti, Lithuania, Bahamas, Denmark, Belize, El Salvador, Belarus, Jamaica, Faroe Islands, Shetland, Island Islands, Ireland, Orkney, Svalbard and Jan Mayen, Turkins and Caicos Islands, Cayman Islands, Northern Ireland, Panama, St. Pierre and Miquelon, Bermuda, Navassa Island, and Colombia. The position of Jupiter at the moment of the occultation will be as follows. In Pisces, in the constellation of Pisces. As I showed you, this is the exact location of the hybrid eclipse that happened in Cetus the Whale and in Pisces on April 20th. The exact location. Okay, the next time this will happen worldwide and also visible in the United States, three and a half years from now in September of 2026. See, this is another thing that speaks very clearly of this time that is coming of great tribulation where the woman is taken into the wilderness for 1260 days three and a half years, Jupiter being the man-child, Jupiter being hidden. The next time Jupiter will be hidden is three and a half years from now. Very important information from Ascension Day to Pentecost. Very important sign, Jupiter the man-child from Revelation chapter 12. So this link is the one you're going to want if everybody wants to study this on their own. So before I close here, I just want to show you what I've been sharing on my channel ever since the hybrid eclipse of April 20th, once that passed, and we saw a clear 40-day window exactly to Pentecost. This is what we have been watching. There is a global fast happening right now from May 7th to May 28th, the Isaiah 62 fast. If you read Isaiah 62, it's 
it's talking about the wedding of the Lamb and the bride, God marrying his bride. This is the Isaiah 62 fast taking, taking us right to Pentecost. I've already shared once in, in a video about the lunar occultation, this ascension date of Pentecost in the whale. I shared a little bit, but I've seen more information, and that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Pentecost fully come. A lot of new information in that video. Then we have Obama at the throne of Satan 21 days before Pentecost. From May 3rd to Pentecost on the Hebrew calendar, May 24th and May 25th, 21 days. And we have a rapture watch for Pentecost, anywhere from May 27th to May 30th. So we have all of this information that we have been pointing to and this information about Jupiter being occulted by the moon is extremely important on Ascension Day. So I just wanted to share all this with you. Pray you guys are blessed. Have a wonderful day. Please leave your comments and let me know if, uh, if there's anything else I didn't see in all of this. Pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People, the sign of his coming revealed.